the skies above Paris witnessed something extraordinary just days ago. On June 21st, 2025, at the world's most prestigious aviation gathering, American defense giants unveiled technology that will fundamentally reshape how wars are fought in the air. Two companies, Anduril Industries from California and General Atomics, didn't just display aircraft models, they revealed the future of combat aviation that will dominate the Pacific skies for decades to come. These aren't ordinary drones, these are autonomous wingman fighters designated YFQ-44 Fury and YFQ-42A designed to fly alongside America's revolutionary sixth generation F-47 fighter jet. With combat ranges exceeding 700 nautical miles, speeds approaching Mach 0.95, and the ability to pull 9G maneuvers, these machines represent the most advanced autonomous combat aircraft ever developed. But here's what makes this truly groundbreaking. They're the first aircraft in U.S. military history to receive the FQ designation, meaning unmanned fighters. General David Alvin, Chief of Staff of the U.S. Air Force, didn't mince words when he called these truly lethal and labeled them as uncrewed fighters. The timing couldn't be more critical. As tensions escalate in the Indo-Pacific and China advances its own sixth-generation fighters, the J-36 and J-50, America is making a bold statement about the future of air superiority. If you're as amazed by this technological leap as we are, type yes in the comments below. Let us know what you think about these game-changing developments. But the story goes much deeper than what happened at the Paris Air Show. The road to this moment began years ago, rooted in America's determination to maintain air superiority against emerging threats. The Next Generation Air Dominance Program, known as NGAD, represents the most ambitious leap in combat aviation since the development of stealth technology. The F-47 fighter jet being developed by Boeing isn't just another aircraft. It's a complete revolution in air combat philosophy. Set to replace the legendary F-22 Raptor, the F-47 boasts a combat radius of over 1,000 nautical miles, nearly double that of its predecessor. This extended range is crucial for operations in the vast Pacific theater, where distances between bases can span thousands of miles. What makes the F-47 truly revolutionary? is its integration with these autonomous wingmen. Imagine a single human pilot controlling not just their own aircraft, but commanding multiple AI-powered fighters that can engage threats, conduct reconnaissance, and execute complex missions without putting additional pilots at risk. This isn't science fiction. It's the reality being developed right now. The YFQ-44A Fury, developed by Anduril Industries, represents a masterpiece of engineering innovation. Originally designed by Blue Force Technologies before Anduril acquired the company in 2023, the Fury was specifically adapted for the Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program. At approximately 24 to 25 feet long, about half the size of an F-16, this sleek machine packs incredible capabilities into a compact frame. Powered by a single Williams FJ44-4M turbofan engine, the Fury can reach altitudes of 50,000 feet and sustain 4.5 G-forces at 20,000 feet. What's particularly impressive is its autonomous swarming capability. The aircraft can operate in coordinated groups, making tactical decisions without human intervention while maintaining communication with manned fighters. Jackson Lingane, communications manager at Anduril Industries, emphasized the strategic importance during the Paris Air Show. The Air Force has been very transparent. It is focused on Indo-Pacific fights. One of the reasons Anduril Industries is here at the Paris Air Show is we think the science and technology applied in Fury also has a lot of application for European allies. But the Fury isn't flying solo in this revolution. General Atomics, the company behind the legendary MQ-9 Reaper drone, has developed its own autonomous fighter, the YFQ-42A. Based on their XQ-67A demonstrator, this aircraft takes a different approach to the same mission. The YFQ-42A features a stealthy fuselage with slender wings, a distinctive dorsal air intake, and a V-tail configuration that enhances its low observable characteristics. 
unlike the Fury, the YFQ-42A includes an internal weapons bay capable of carrying AM-120 AMRAAM missiles, positioning it as a serious air-to-air -air combat platform. David Alexander, president of General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, highlighted the significance. The YFQ-42A is an exciting next step for our company. It reflects many years of partnership with the U.S. Air Force of advancing unmanned combat aviation for the United States and its allies around the world. The technical specifications revealed at the Paris Air Show paint a picture of unprecedented capability. Both aircraft feature combat radii exceeding 700 nautical miles, allowing them to operate far from their bases while providing extended coverage for manned fighters. This range is crucial for Pacific operations, where the tyranny of distance has long been a strategic challenge. What sets these aircraft apart from traditional drones is their fighter-like performance. The ability to sustain high G maneuvers means they can engage in air-to-air -air combat alongside manned fighters, not just provide support from a distance. The integration of advanced stealth features gives them radar cross-sections roughly equivalent to the F-35 Lightning II ensuring they can survive in contested airspace. The development timeline is remarkably aggressive. Ground testing began in early 2025, with first flights scheduled for the summer of 2025. The Air Force expects a production decision by 2026, with initial operational capability targeted for 2029. This rapid pace reflects the urgency felt by military leaders as they monitor developments in the Pacific theater. The strategic implications extend far beyond individual aircraft capabilities. The Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program represents a fundamental shift in how America projects air power. By 2029, the Air Force plans to field approximately 1,000 of these autonomous fighters, creating what military strategists call affordable mass. This concept is revolutionary. Instead of relying solely on expensive, limited-quantity platforms like the F-22 Raptor, the Air Force can now deploy large numbers of capable, autonomous fighters that complement manned aircraft. These platforms can absorb losses while protecting human pilots, conduct high-risk missions, and provide persistent coverage over vast areas. The timing of this revelation at the Paris Air Show was no coincidence. As the world's largest aerospace and defense gathering, Paris provided the perfect stage to demonstrate American technological superiority to allies and potential adversaries alike. The show featured a record number of drone displays, reflecting the growing importance of unmanned systems in modern warfare. European allies showed significant interest in these technologies. Germany's Rheinmetall announced a partnership with Anduril to produce European variants of the Fury and Barracuda cruise missile for European markets. This international cooperation strengthens NATO capabilities while sharing development costs and technological expertise. The competitive landscape is heating up rapidly. China's development of sixth-generation fighters, including the J-36 and J-50, has already begun flight testing. These programs represent Beijing's determination to challenge American air superiority in the Western Pacific. The technological race is intensifying, with both nations pushing the boundaries of what's possible in combat aviation. But America's approach offers distinct advantages. The integration of manned and unmanned systems creates operational flexibility that pure autonomous systems cannot match. Human judgment, combined with AI capability, provides a powerful combination that can adapt to rapidly changing tactical situations. The autonomous capabilities of these aircraft represent years of research and development in artificial intelligence and machine learning. These systems can process vast amounts of sensor data, make tactical decisions in milliseconds, and coordinate with other aircraft without human intervention. Yet they remain under human oversight ensuring accountability and strategic control. Voice command capabilities are being tested, allowing pilots to communicate with their autonomous wingmen as they would with human pilots. This natural interface makes the technology more intuitive and effective in high-stress combat situations. The psychological comfort of familiar communication patterns helps pilots integrate these new capabilities into existing tactics. The broader implications for air combat doctrine are profound. Traditional fighter tactics developed around human limitations, reaction times, G-force tolerance, and decision-making under stress. 
Autonomous fighters remove many of these constraints while adding new capabilities like perfect coordination and instant information sharing. Training programs are already adapting to these new realities. Pilots must learn to command and coordinate with autonomous systems while maintaining their own combat effectiveness. This represents a new skill set that combines traditional flying abilities with advanced system management and tactical coordination. The industrial base supporting this revolution is equally impressive. Anduril Industries, founded in 2017, has rapidly emerged as a leader in defense technology innovation. Their approach combines Silicon Valley innovation with defense industry expertise, accelerating development timelines while maintaining military standards. General Atomics brings decades of unmanned aircraft experience to the program. Their MQ-9 Reaper has logged nearly 9 million flight hours across multiple combat theaters, providing invaluable operational experience that informs the design of these new fighters. The program's incremental development approach ensures continuous improvement. Increment 1 focuses on air superiority missions, while future increments will expand capabilities and reduce costs. This evolutionary approach allows rapid fielding of initial capabilities while maintaining development momentum. Cost considerations drive much of the program's appeal. Traditional fighter aircraft cost hundreds of millions of dollars each, limiting procurement quantities. These autonomous fighters promise similar capabilities at a fraction of the cost, enabling the mass deployment that modern conflicts may require. Maintenance and logistics advantages are equally significant. Autonomous aircraft don't require life support systems, ejection seats, or pilot training facilities. They can operate from austere locations with minimal ground support, providing operational flexibility that manned aircraft cannot match. The psychological impact on adversaries cannot be underestimated. Facing an opponent that can deploy large numbers of capable, expendable fighters changes strategic calculations. Traditional tactics that rely on attrition become less effective when losses don't include human pilots. International reactions to these developments have been mixed, but generally supportive among allies. NATO partners see opportunities for enhanced collective defense capabilities. While potential adversaries recognize the challenge these systems represent to their own strategic plans, the Paris Air Show demonstrations included detailed technical briefings for allied military leaders, ensuring broad understanding of these capabilities. This transparency builds confidence among partners while sending clear messages to potential adversaries about American technological capabilities. Future developments promise even more impressive capabilities. Advanced sensors, hypersonic weapons integration, and enhanced AI decision-making will continue expanding what these platforms can accomplish. The foundation being laid now will support decades of capability growth and adaptation. The human element remains central to these systems despite their autonomous capabilities. Military leaders emphasize that these aircraft enhance rather than replace human judgment. The combination of human creativity and AI processing power creates capabilities that neither could achieve alone. Ethical considerations surrounding autonomous weapon systems continue generating debate. However, these aircraft maintain human oversight and authorization for critical decisions, addressing many concerns while providing operational advantages. The manufacturing plans are equally ambitious. Andrill and General Atomics are scaling production capabilities to meet the Air Force's requirement for 1,000 aircraft by 2029. This industrial surge represents a significant investment in American defense manufacturing capabilities. Supply chain considerations have learned from recent global disruptions. Domestic sourcing for critical components ensures production continuity while supporting American manufacturing jobs. This approach reduces vulnerability to foreign interference while strengthening the industrial base. Testing and evaluation programs are comprehensive, ensuring these systems meet rigorous military standards before operational deployment. The rapid development timeline doesn't compromise safety or effectiveness requirements that have made American military aircraft the world's most capable. The technological spillover effects benefit the broader aviation industry. Advances in autonomous flight, artificial intelligence, and advanced materials find applications in civilian aviation creating economic benefits beyond military applications. As we look toward 2029 and beyond, the integration of these systems into operational units will mark a new chapter in air combat history.
The young men and women who will operate these systems are already in training, preparing to lead this technological revolution into combat if necessary. The message from the Paris Air Show was clear. America's commitment to air superiority remains unwavering. These technological achievements represent not just military capability, but the innovative spirit and industrial capacity that have long been hallmarks of American defense leadership. The partnership between human skill and artificial intelligence, demonstrated by these remarkable aircraft, points toward a future where American air power can project strength globally while protecting the lives of those who serve. This combination of technological excellence and human values represents the best of American military innovation. For those of us who remember the dawn of the jet age, the development of stealth technology, and the precision warfare revolution, these autonomous fighters represent another quantum leap forward. They ensure that American forces will maintain the advantage they need to protect our nation and our allies in an increasingly complex world. The skies above Paris witnessed history in the making. The future of air combat will be faster, more capable, and more decisive than ever before. And that future is arriving sooner than many imagined. Carried by the innovation and determination that continue to make American air power second to none. The technological revolution unveiled at the Paris Air Show proves once again that when America's finest minds focus on defending freedom, the results change the world. These autonomous fighters represent not just military hardware, but a commitment to maintaining the peace through strength that has served us well for generations.